Hello everyone and welcome to the day 2 of Mental Maths program. Today we will learn what are similar values and different values, finger values for similar and different values and how we can calculate them on our fingers. Let's start our first topic of the day which is similar values. What are similar values? Can you tell me what similar values could be? Let's see. Similar is same. The word similar means same. In similar values, we have same number of tens and same number of units as well. Look at the first picture and count what value it could be. How many bunches of stick we have? We have 3 bunches of sticks means 3 tens of sticks and we also have 3 single sticks as well means 3 units. We have 3 tens and 3 units this makes it 33. Let's look at the next picture. What value it has? How many tens are there? In this picture, we have 5 tens of blocks and 5 single blocks as well. Means we have 5 tens and 5 units. This makes it 55. From examples, we have clear picture of what similar values are. In finger maths, we use our both hands for similar values and same number of fingers are opened on both hands. Let's practice finger values for similar values. In similar values, we have same number of units and same number of tens as well. So we will use our both hands Make a punch and place your both hands on any flat surface. We will follow the rules that we learn for units and tens. Ready? When all the fingers are closed and our hand represents punch, it represents the value 0. When only one finger that is pointer is open on both hands, it represents the value 11. As in 11, we have one ten and one unit for 22 and 22 we have two tens and two units so we will open two fingers on left hand and two fingers on right hand for 33 we know in 33 we have three tens and three units so we will open three fingers on both the hands when all the four fingers of both hands are open it represents the value 44. How we open 55? To 55, we will open thumbs on our both hands. To place 66, we will open thumb and one finger on our both hands. For 77, we will open thumb and two fingers as 77 has 7 tens and 7 units. For 88, we will open thumb and three fingers on our both hands. And for 99, we will open thumb and four fingers on our both hands. This is how we can calculate till 99 on our both hands. That is 90 on left hand and 9 on right hand. Similar values are quite easy to calculate. Let's practice similar values one more time. When all the fingers on left hand and right hand are closed, it represents the value 0. When only one finger on both the hands are open, it represents the value 11. When two fingers are open, they represent 22. When three fingers on both hands are open, they represent 33. And when all the four fingers on both hands are open, they represent the value 44. We represent 55 by thumbs on our both hands. To represent 66, we will open thumb and one finger on our both hands. And to represent 77, we will open thumb and two fingers. For 88, we will open thumb and three fingers. And to place 99, 
we open thumb and all the four fingers on our right hand and left hand. Let's learn addition of similar values. How we add similar values on our fingers. Let's take an example. If we want to add 33 and 11 together. How we will place these values on our fingers? Let's see. First, we will place 33 on our hands. In 33, we have 3 tenths and 3 units. So we will open 3 fingers on our both hands. Now to add 11, as we are adding, so we will open fingers. In 11, we have 1 ten and 1 unit. It means we will open one more finger on our both the hands. As a result, we get, look at your hands. Your hands must be displaying four fingers on both the hands, which means 40 on left hand and four on right hand. This makes it 44. So our answer is 44. Let's take another example. If we want to add 55 and 22 together. First, we will place 55. To place 55, we will open thumb of our both hands. Now to add 22, we know. Two fingers on left hand and two fingers on right hand represents the value 22. So we will open two fingers on our both the hands. As a result, we get thumb and two fingers on both hand. Thumb and two fingers on both hand represents the value 77. So our answer is 77. Let's take an example for subtraction of similar values. If we want to subtract 55 from 88, how we will do that? First, we will place 88 on our both hands. 88 means thumb and three fingers on both the hands. Now to subtract 55. As we are doing subtraction, it means this will involve closing of fingers. To subtract 55, we know our thumb on both hands represents the value 55. So we will close thumb on both the hands. As a result, we get 3 fingers on our both hands. So our answer is 33. 30 on left and 3 on right makes it 33. Let's start practicing addition and subtraction of similar values together. But before starting, keep few things in mind. Always make zero before starting a new question. When we are adding, we open finger from pointer. When we are subtracting, we close fingers from small finger side. Let's start. Make a punch and place your both hands on any flat surface. Let's start. 22. First, we will open two fingers on our both hands. Plus 11. Plus 11 means we will open one more finger on both the hands. Plus 11 again means we will open one more finger again on our both hands. Minus 33. Minus 33 means we will close three fingers on our both the hands. Plus 55. We will open thumb on our both hands. As a result, we get 66 thumb and one finger. Make zero and 33, we will open 3 fingers on our both hands, plus 11, open 1 more finger on both the hands, minus 22, means we will close 2 fingers on our both hands, plus 55, open thumb on both the hands, plus 22, open 2 more fingers on both the hands. As a result, we get 99. Next question, 77 plus 11 minus 33 plus 22 plus 11 answer is 88 next question 66 plus 22 minus 11 plus 22 minus 66 answer is 33 55 plus 22 plus 11 minus 66 plus 22 answer is 44 we will practice few more questions for our speed now we will increase our speed gradually let's start 88 minus 11 plus 22 minus 55 minus 44 answer is 
zero. Next question: ninety-nine minus twenty-two minus eleven plus thirty-three minus eighty-eight. Answer is eleven. Make zero. And next question: forty-four minus thirty-three plus eleven plus twenty-two minus forty-four. Answer is zero. We will practice two more questions. Let's start. Seventy-seven plus eleven minus thirty-three plus twenty-two minus fifty-five. Answer: twenty-two. Last question: thirty-three plus eleven minus twenty-two minus eleven plus fifty-five. Answer is sixty-six. Hopefully, the topic of similar values is clear to everyone. Keep practicing for a better speed. Thank you for watching the video.